Hello, boys and girls. Here we are again, Robin the Sudoku guy, with a real puzzle. And today I'm going to teach you something new. It's called how to work with little numbers. If you look at the adults sometimes when they're doing a Sudoku puzzle, you'll see they've got all little numbers in there. Well, we're, up to, we're at that stage now. So, before I start, I just wanted to mention that TMB and LCR that we've been doing in previous sessions are very important. I use them for all my puzzles, and you will find that if you do use them properly, that you'll have less mistakes. For example, putting a number twice in a row, column, or block. Now, when I do this puzzle today, I'm just going to do it from TMB and LCR if we can, and when we get to the end, if there's any numbers left, we'll then work from there. But I mainly want to show you this puzzle to show you how to use the little numbers. So here we go. Let's start. Here we have a 1, 1, 1, bottom, middle, top. We're going to do horizontal blocks first. Twos, bottom, middle, top, done. Threes, bottom, top, middle. Wow, this could go in two places. It could go there or there. And so we put two little threes in, and then comes the next important part. You look down the columns and see if there's a three. Well, if you look this is very carefully, can you see that there's already a three here? That means that you have to get rid of this three because you can't have two threes in a column. If you get rid of that three, then this three becomes the real three. See how that worked? Let's go now to uh, fours. Here we go again. We have a top, we have a middle, and in this block it has to be on the bottom, but it could go there or there. So we put it to a little four in. Now we look down the columns to see if there is a four. Is there a four? Let's have a look. Oh yes, there is a four right there in this column. And if I follow it up, this cannot be a four because you can't have two fours in a column, row or block. So I make this, this, this one here becomes the four. If it can't be that one, it has to be that one. Okay, fives. We have a five here and a, in the bottom, middle, top. This becomes a five. That was easy. Sixes. We have no sixes. Sevens. We have three sevens, middle, bottom, top. Eights. We have bottom, middle, top. Nines. We have uh, middle, top. Oh, here comes the bottom. So we can put the nine in over here. Now you can see places where you could put numbers because there's only one number left, but I'm going to leave that till the end because I want to show you how to use these little numbers. Okay, now let's go these three blocks. Ones, we have a bottom, a middle, it has to be on the top. Twos, we have a bottom, a top, and a middle, they're there. Threes, we have a top, we have a middle, and we can have a bottom over here. Fours, we have a top, a middle and a bottom. Here we go. Fives. We have a top, a bottom. Uh, uh, we have a five here and a five could go there. But look, there's a five right up in here. So you can't have a five there. So therefore, you can rub that one out. This one becomes your five. Very good. Sixes. Six. We have a six, middle, a bottom, middle and a top. There's your six, that's easy. Sevens, we have a bottom, top, and a middle over here. Eights, we have a bottom, a top, and eight has to go there, this is the only place it can go. Nines, we have a nine, a middle, a bottom, and a top. We've got all these blocks down. We can go on now to this one, okay? Um, you may think, oh, I've missed something. It's very easy to miss something, and that's okay. I'll explain later. Um, we'll go ones here. We have a one on the top, one on the bottom. One has to be over here in the middle. Two, we have a two on the top, a two in the bottom. Two has to go there. 
3, we have a 3 here, and we have a 3 here. So therefore, a 3 has to be there or there. Now, we've got that there. We have a bottom, a top, and a middle. But now let's take this, and now this time we look up the column, because we're down at the bottom here. We look up the column and see if there's a 3 anywhere. And lo and behold, here's a 3 up here. So this cannot be a 3. So we rub it out, and we rub this out, and we make it a really big 3. Fours. Well, and we got top, bottom, middle. Fives. We have five, bottom, top, there's a, and the middle. So that five goes there. Sixes. We have a six, a top, middle, and a bottom. Sevens. We have a top, a middle. One of these is a seven. We don't know which one. Let's put, them, put the seven in and look up. We're going to look up. Is there a seven anywhere? Can you see a seven anywhere as you go up these columns? I do. There's one right there. See there? So if that seven is there, this cannot be a seven because you can't have two sevens in a column, row, or block. So we'll rub that out, rub this out, erase it is another way of saying it, and put that as a real big seven. Eights. Top, bottom. This has to be in the middle. It's the only place it can go. Nines. We have a middle, a top, and a bottom. Now, we look for where, any place where there's something left. Yes, there is something left. Wonder what it is. This is the time when you start to look for rows, columns, and blocks with only one left. Well, here's a block over here that's only got one left. Here's a column that's only got one left. And if I count it right, it's one, two, three, four, five. It's a six. And that, that row had, had, had one missing as well. So now that we've got the six, we look for where, where, what else is missing. Well, here's a column that's got one missing. Here's a row that's got one missing. Let's do, and here's a block that's got one missing, and here's a block that's got one missing. You can go any way you like as long as you know what to do. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. It's another six. Now, because we've got a six in the middle and a six on the top, we know that this has to be a six. And voila, you whoopee, we have solved that puzzle because we knew how to work with little numbers when a number, big number could go in two places. So that's it for today. See you next time where we do even more interesting things with the Sudoku puzzle. <laughs> <laughs>